I was in the front uh, row of the Adele concert, and um, and that is as surprising to me as anyone. Seth Rogen is sharing new details about his premium spot at the Adele One Night Only concert special on CBS. I had no idea I was attending um, the taping of an Adele television special at all. I uh, we got the I got an invitation to. Do you want to go to a, a small Adele concert? Is 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 what I remember absorbing. And, I go to my wife, Laura, you want to go to this small Adele concert? Great, sounds fun. The comedian explained to Jimmy Fallon on Wednesday that he and his wife, Lauren Miller, thought it was just going to be an intimate evening. So they got high before heading to the show. If I'm being honest, I I, I'm, I hate to burst everyone's, I smoke weed, uh, Jimmy, and I, me and my wife. Breaking um, news, breaking news here. I know, tonight. it's yeah. tough, uh, but uh, you'll have to reconcile that. But we, so we were like, it's, a, it's an Adele concert, it's in the park. We smoked a ton of weed um, and we're like, we're just gonna go in, enjoy this lovely Adele concert. Yeah. Uh, we pull up and we see cranes, camera cranes, there's drones flying around, there's an entire crew there. And I'm like, oh no, uh, we are at the filming of a television special, <laughs> I think. Um, we're on a television show. And I'm like, maybe it's not that big a television special. And then the first person I see is Oprah Winfrey. The neighbor's actor said upon arriving, the couple hoped they could just fade into the background, but their assigned seats had them front and center. We are not equipped mentally to deal with doing this right now, really. And so so we go up to the desk and they give us our tickets and our seat numbers literally are 1A and 1B. <laughs> and I'm like, oh it no. It doesn't get bigger. Like, that sounds close. Jimmy asked if the pair were close friends with the Easy On Me singer to score such prime seats, and Seth had a hilarious response. I've never met it. I don't know. I don't know Adele. And if Adele, you're watching this, why did that? Ha Why did you do that? <laughs> what? And there was because the whole time I'm like, there is so many more famous people than me here who should be sitting where I'm sitting, and I could just like feel them be insulted that I had such a good seat. The private concert was a star-studded event, and Seth said he wasn't sure why he was selected to sit so close to the stage ahead of other A-listers. I was in front of Drake. Like, there's no world where I should be in front of Drake. Why? How is that possible? And I could just feel, like, Drake's eyes, like, drilling into the back of my head. Like, why am I in 3R and he's in 1A? Like, I was six rows in front of, like, Ellen DeGeneres and Chris Jenner. Like, I truly have no, I have no idea well, what, did, did, why they did that. So how did he act while cameras caught him enjoying the music? He said he tried to stay calm. The whole time I'm like just trying to look cool, which is not like a healthy thought to have. And and add for me, at an Adele, it was hard for me to look cool because I'm I'm uncomfortable. I'm too close. I feel like Leonardo DiCaprio behind me, thinking like, did Seth Rogen write Rolling in the Deep? Is that why he's so close? <laughs> the 39-year-old told the late-night host that he has gotten a lot of feedback about his appearance. I think it's the most popular thing I've ever been in, in my entire life. Like I, I have, I, there's people who I know have not watched my last five movies who have been texting me being like, you were amazing, that Adele concert looked incredible. <laughs>